Let's denote the given integral by i. Now multiply the numerator and denominator of the integrand by e raised to the power x. Let 1 plus x times e raised to the power x be equal to t. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get x times e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power x dx is equal to dt. Taking e raised to the power x common on the left hand side, we get e raised to the power x times x plus 1 times dx is equal to dt. Therefore, the integral i can be written as integral dt divided by t square times t minus 1. Now let 1 upon t square times t minus 1 be equal to a upon t plus b upon t square plus c upon t minus 1 where a, b and c are constants to be determined. The right hand side can be written as a times t times t minus 1 plus b times t minus 1 plus c times t square divided by t square times t minus 1. This can be rewritten as a plus c times t square plus b minus a times t minus b divided by t square times t minus 1. The left hand side can be written as 0 times t square plus 0 times t plus 1 divided by t square upon t minus 1. And this is equal to the right hand side a plus c times t square plus b minus a times t minus b divided by t square upon t minus 1. The denominator is the same on both sides and in the numerator equating coefficients of t square we get a plus c is equal to 0. Equating coefficients of t we get b minus a is equal to 0 and equating the constant term we get minus b is equal to 1. The third equality implies that b is equal to minus 1. The second equality implies that a is equal to b which is equal to minus 1. And the first equality implies that c is equal to minus a, which is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 upon t squared times t minus 1 is equal to minus 1 upon t minus 1 upon t squared plus 1 upon t minus 1. Therefore, the integral i, which is equal to integral of dt upon t squared times t minus 1, can be broken into three components. The first component is minus integral dt upon t. The second component is minus integral dt upon t square and the third component is plus integral dt upon t minus 1. This is equal to minus ln t plus 1 upon t plus ln t minus 1 plus a constant of integration. This simplifies to 1 upon t plus ln of t minus 1 upon t plus the constant of integration. Substituting the value of t, i is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x times e raised to the power x plus ln of x times e raised to the power x divided by 1 plus x times e raised to the power x plus the constant of integration.